All right. What concerts are you going to this year, right? I've been looking and I've been searching. Um, I'm going to go left field, but I've been looking and researching up uh, Fall Out Boys. They're an alternative band. If you don't know who Fall Out Boy is, y'all should know who Fall Out Boy is, but they're an alternative band. And they work real. Uh, they work closely with Jay Z and Kanye. Kanye actually produced some of their, some of their music, and even featured on a remix of one of their songs. They even dropped a. Uh, they had a uh, album. I think it was the American Dream, and then they dropped a alternate album of the same the same album, but it had a bunch of remixes, and it had all hip hop artists on it. Oh really? Like, yes, Juicy J, Big Crit. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, it was, but like they did remixes of all their songs off this album, and they added hip hop artists to the tracks. Okay. Yeah, and then even like they've even had like uh on some of their albums they had Big Sean featured, Rick Ross featured. Uh, so yeah, so they're very, very. I'm a I'm a fan of theirs, and uh, I just ran like they're gonna be in. They're coming to Nashville in March. Okay. I've been looking at that. Uh, you know who just announced that they're going on tour? Slim Thug, Paul Wall, and Mike Jones still tipping tour. Crazy going to Houston for that. Can't you can't go nowhere else. You gotta go to Houston. <laughs> you gotta go to Houston for that. What you say? It's only one place that is. You gotta go to Houston for that. Oh so, yeah. And then I just seen I just see Earth with a Fire. Uh just is going to do a show in Knoxville. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go that far. I don't know, maybe uh, but yeah. Uh but off the top of my head, that's that's all. Yeah. Those are those are notable ones that I would like to see. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to think of who I really, really want to see this year, who I haven't seen. Um, mm. And I don't know, I can't put one finger on it. You know, I go to concert or we go to concerts all of the time. Um, but I think the area is important too. I know we discussed this before about uh, regional uh, music. So I do want to go to another Jeezy concert. Um, yeah. I thought his energy was just, it was crazy, you know, yeah. to, and watch masses of people lose their minds. Uh, I, I compare Jeezy to DMX. When I saw him years ago, um, I would say maybe like three years before he passed, and I'm telling you, it was just like the music just came out, meaning the people lost their mind in Boardwalk Hall of uh, stomping, passing out. Um, it was just like I had never experienced it before. So, um, yeah, I definitely want to see Jeezy again. Um I would like to see Beyonce one good time. I know that she's gonna go on tour again. I I do want to see Usher too this year. Um, well, I, th I think he, I don't, uh, the rumor or the news was like, because he's doing halftime for the Super Bowl. Yeah. What's wrong? You there? Oh man, we got to reschedule this. <laughs> Look, we got to start from the beginning. <laughs> we, we might have to do that. You, it says your internet connection is unstable. And I'm telling you, we don't even have these issues if it wasn't for the snow going on. I'm sure that plays a part in it. But uh, yeah. Man, maybe, maybe we got to reschedule. I don't know. It's up to you. It's up to you. Uh, well, if it does it again, we might have to reschedule. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have to. 
what I was saying was like Usher, uh, he's supposed to do the halftime show, and what's crazy is like I've already been seeing people posting it like. I can't wait to uh to see football played during Usher's concert. And like they've already like it's not even about the Super Bowl anymore. It's all about Usher at this point. This is crazy. Uh but then he's supposed he's also supposed to be, I heard he's supposed to be dropping an album either the day of the Super Bowl or the that following or that Tuesday after the Super Bowl. Because that's when music music comes music comes out on Tuesday, right? Yeah. Or Friday. I don't know now. But um, they changed it so much. Yeah, and then he's supposed, to, and then I think he's doing a tour after that. Yeah, that's what I heard too. So I'm pretty excited about that. But again, regional, you know, is gonna be all the way live in Atlanta. You know, I told Jay, um, this was months back when Esh or not Esher when Diddy and Jermaine Dupree was supposed to have their concert. I said, listen, I'm only going to Atlanta with that it has to be there i have to be in the building and it never came out so um mm. yeah i definitely want to be in atlanta if usher comes there i think i would go to a philly but it's not going to be the same you know no i don't think it uh, i think it'll, it'll still be it'll still be live but it's different because like because like i went to I went to I went to go see Wu Tang like last minute in Nashville. It was Wu Tang Nas concert, mm -hmm. and uh, it was good, but it wasn't the same when we went to Atlantic City. Yeah, and I'm sure that wasn't the same when they was in like New York venues, you know, to see Wu Tang and Nas in concert in in in, in New York, <laughs> like. Crazy. So like I'm saying, like Paul Wall, Slim Thug, and Mike Jones, like in Houston, <laughs> ridiculous. Tony, 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 you have to go to the Bay. Like I know we went to go see him in Philly, but the Bay probably would have been fire. You know, my daughter was hot with us. You. You went to Tony. Went to go see Tony. 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 Without me, she was heartbroken. Heartbroken. I didn't know she, I didn't know she was a Tony, a Tony. Tony. Tony fan like that. Mm hmm Oh, she loves R and B music, and that's one thing that I can say. Like when you have kids or little cousins, you're supposed to give them the tutorial. Please don't have them out here talking about who is SWV, because they should. They should. You know know this that i feel like you know it should be a part of their upbringing my kids will know brandy if they don't know anyone else <laughs> they know so i mean it's certain things that kids gotta know that is their culture that is in them you are made from this you know this music so let's go you gotta know it Keith with an F. You should know him. <laughs> so, yeah. She was heartbroken. I was just like, hey, you got to get on board the next time. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I didn't know a man like that. Man. She was hot. Really? Man. <laughs> it was a good show. I ain't even that. It was a good show. It was a good show. I enjoyed myself thoroughly. The energy was different. I think the only thing that threw us off, and I think it was a good thing, is the cell phones. Meaning, they don't want the cell phones out. Mm -hmm. They're recording because it takes it does take away from the energy and the experience. I think that that was a great move on their part. And I think more people need to do that in a sense because when you go to concerts and you're sitting up there the whole time, of course you want to get it. You want to get this experience and you want to remember it. But I feel like it's in your heart when you uh, when you don't have that cell phone out. So, you know, you know, I even uh, I, I won't forget we locked eyes. Me and uh, Sadiq, we locked eyes. We did. 
<laughs> okay. We okay. Did. Hey, <laughs> it, was, it wasn't my eye, so you know that was your experience. <laughs> so you had you had a prince moment? <laughs> we did. You had a prince moment? Okay. You, you know they say you can't look prince in the eyes. <laughs> I was just like, okay, you know, I think that, um, also I will say this, when you see these people, they're people just like us. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, when I saw Victoria Monet on mm -hmm. my phone, I seen her down at Morehouse and what, October. And I didn't even know who she was. Mm -hmm. Just came on the stage, regular person. I don't know normally what these people look like, meaning you can hear their music on the radio all day. Mm -hmm. But um, again, regular people, you know, they're living a regular life. They're not, you know, with the entourage and all that stuff. Some people do really live like that. They don't need all them people behind them, security, all that stuff. So um, it's a good experience. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Matter of fact, you remember that at the end of the uh, Tony 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 concert, that woman went up to the stage and she was trying to talk to uh, Raphael Sadiq. And she, she got to reaching up and like her friend was like, hey, hey. And then like security was, was they was lurking. They was, about to, they was about to grab her. And then I, I don't know what she said, but he was like, nah, she's cool. And he talked to her for like maybe like 20, 30 seconds. And, and like she, she about lost her mind. Like I don't, know. I don't know what it is with like people when they see celebrities. It's just like, from what I can see, my experiences with people close up. I don't get why they run up on people. Meaning that, okay, they're regular people. They're just like you. Um, but you know, just being in that space, I mm -hmm. had never seen that before. With Tony, 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 meaning the one lady that ran up during the concert. I need to talk to you. <laughs> during the concert, why did you go the mic? Yeah, I don't know. What, like, how did that even come in your head that you needed to talk to him when he was singing? I think it was like a. I think it's one of those like fight or flight responses. Like I don't. I think it's kind of like it's not just when it's in danger. When you see so, like everybody has their own relationship with music and with and blah 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 and celebrities and blah blah blah. But like I guess it was just one of that moment, and I guess the the emotions got the best of them. And it was just like I'm going up here. <laughs> I'm going up here, and you know sometimes it, you know it, sometimes it may work out in your favor, or sometimes you control yourself. Or sometimes security is going to control yourself. Exactly. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? I'm not that one. I, I'm, I'm I think pretty, pretty laid back. Yeah. I like, like hey. fan, I'm a fan. And I'm, I'm going to keep it moving. Would love to get a picture with you. But I think sometimes, you know, not getting pictures is okay too. Meaning... You know, we love to look back at pictures and all that good stuff and videos. I love that. I'll get a video in a minute if I'm at a concert. But um, I think that was very eye-opening for me to experience, okay, put your phone up and just experience this music and this vibe because the vibe was totally different from the minute that we walked in the building. Um, and I'll say this. I love how when I go to different areas, meaning we can go to Atlanta City. Atlanta City is, they got their own vibe. You can mm -hmm. go to Philly. Philly got their own vibe of people. Mm -hmm. Atlanta got their own vibe of people. So um, I like going to festivals because you get a mixture of everything. Uh, Baltimore people is, is different too. DC people is different. So... <laughs> Yes, <laughs> real people is different. <laughs> so it's just like you got to be aware of your surroundings mm -hmm. um, and the people, but also be there to have a good time. 
And I, I love the fact that we went in that space for Tony, 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 and we were able to sit down. It wasn't, it wasn't crazy. I had to look over my back or, you know, you know, clutch my purse to me. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's an experience. So I would say for anybody that loves music, in 2024, at least go to one concert, you know, uh, someone that you really, really have love for, at least experience it because it's nothing like it at all. It really isn't. It really is. And I've, uh, I started to grow an appreciation for like small venues. Cause like I went to go see music soul child mm -hmm. at the city winery in Nashville. Small, it's not no big, huge, venue it's a little you know small medium i don't know small venue but it was it's more intimate and it's more chill people are sitting and plus you're able to like eat and drink uh they bring all that out before you know they start performing but like but it's it's different you know what i mean like i went to go see rock cam at the city winery mm -hmm. you know, a great show it wasn't like a whole bunch of like you know people rushing the stage or Everybody standing up and you yeah. know it it was chill, like it was good. And like uh, you know, I had different plans of but you know, I see that Chrisette Michelle is gonna be at the city winery in Nashville. Dave Hauser was just at the city winery. Uh Shante Moore is is gonna be at the city winery. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who uh and when I went to go so see Rock Kim, then I saw um was it Foo Snickens? Uh-huh. Last year they came to the city when I was like, yeah. But I had I had, my, I had already allocated my funds. I was like, mm. you know, I was crazy. That's what it gets you. You know, how are we gonna go to all these festivals? Um yeah. you know, we got a lot to do in 2024, but one thing that I, me and my best friends, um, we try to get one, commit to one uh, concert in the spring. Right about now, we usually will go to a board ball call for um, the old school concert, but I didn't go last week because I was just like, you know, the only person that I really wanted to say, wanted to see was uh, Jazzy Jeff. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I have seen most of the people so I try to see new people in a sense, not the same people all over again. I know I'll always go and see the locks that they're in, you know, the area that I'm in or that um, the festivals that I go to. But other than that, you know, I, I really, really, really want to see Music Soul Child and Dave Hollister. I have to see them. Um, so they're, they're at the top of my list. Mm. Um, but I want music soul child to sing how he sings on them albums we don't want verses we want the albums he does <laughs> if you want to piss me off <laughs> quickly it's singing them not how you normally sing them so um yeah I do want to see them. I want to see Kendra the Family Soul too. I was talking to a cousin this morning about it because she said she was going to see them next month when they were in Maryland. So I was just like, man, I just saw that this morning on Facebook. Mm. Yeah. So I did see October London is coming out of Nashville. I want to oh, see yeah. the A. And I'm just like, I can't swing it. <laughs> I was going to talk to you about that. Yeah, October eleventh. Like, uh, I just found out about him last year. Uh, my cousin Susan, she was like, "Play October London," and I was like, "Okay," and I was like, oh, "Okay, dope." Uh, one thing I don't like is uh, which people stop saying this is good. This is our generation's so and so. Like, nah, calm down. Let let them be who they are. Stop, stop, stop. Just stop. Just stop. That's a bad boy. He is. 
I'm sitting up there watching his lives and I'm just like, you know what? I got to get his album. Definitely got to get it because it, the work that he's putting out sounds good. Aside from the one song, uh, he's got some good songs. So, mm. yeah. Speaking mm. of albums, you know what I'm going to start doing? I started going back and listening to the whole album. Yeah. Like, I just went, uh, I went back and listened to, like, the uh, Chronic 2001. Uh-huh. I went back and listened to uh, Raekwon and Ghostface, uh, Built for Cuban Links. Really? Crazy. Yes. Yes. Don't, when I watched the, uh, that Memphis Bleak uh, interview with Nori on Drink Champs, yeah. and he talked about Fat Joe's first album, Donna Cartagena. And I was like, man, I ain't listen to that in a minute. And I played, I said, yeah, I can't. So many hits was on that album. Like, I was like, yo, I'm going back. I'm going back and I'm listening to the whole albums. Yeah. Because it was so many hits on them albums. Mm -hmm. No skip. Mm -hmm. No skipping. No mm -hmm. skip. DMX's first album, he. We don't even want to discuss that because I wasn't even supposed to be listening to it. Soon as, our, as soon as our dad left, he would get his CDs the day of our release. Let me go out to the base and I'm going to put it in the stack. And my sister, my youngest sister, you know, she was a daredevil. You know, she can't do anything wrong. So, you know, we're going to put this on you. You're going to open the CD and seal it. You're going to open it. And we're going to put this in this uh thing and play it. And as soon as he left for work, that whole apartment building was rocking. We didn't even care. <laughs> we're gonna, we gonna get in trouble later, but you know, we got we gotta take this in. Yeah. Dang, it's crazy. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm listening to the whole albums. Yeah. Absolutely. Can you imagine go back and listen to T.I.'s early albums? I've never been a big T.I. fan, so I don't really. I guess I, now that you say it, I gotta go back. I'm telling you, see, I uh, look at Scarface did Tiny Desk, and look how his his uh fan base just kind of grew off of his Tiny Desk because they it was like, oh, I didn't know Scarface was like what? <laughs> the respect, pay some respect on these legends' names, you know? Absolutely, you know. I mean, he did with Jay Z. Feel how you want to feel. Go back and listen to Will Smith. Yo, I'm telling you, you can't. You gotta put respect on Will Smith's name. I'm out here doing Will Smith numbers. He changed the culture. Come on, you can say what you want because ever because because gangster rap came out or hardcore rap or whatever you want to call it. But let's not let's not like let's not play like. Will Smith was not out here doing numbers and doing, you know what I'm saying? MC Hammer? Come on now. You can't tell me MC Hammer wasn't out here doing Who else was getting uh was getting on uh movie soundtracks? Yep. My hip hop artist was getting on movie like not I ain't talking like oh I was on uh juice. So yeah. no nah. Adam's family. Crazy. Adam's family soundtrack? Come on now. Crazy. And Amber's out here getting commercials. T had a cartoon. Yeah. You can't tell me he ain't pushed the culture for it. He did. I'm going to tell you somebody else. Ja Rule. And I want to say they said he just signed a whole new deal within the last couple of weeks. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm telling all of y'all that are listening. Let me tell you something. I've seen Ja Rule, I want to say, three or four times. The catalog is crazy. The constant turning to a new song or transitioning into another song, doing a concert, energy is crazy. I don't care. I've been in Atlanta. I've been uh, Boardwalk Hall in Atlanta City. Like, again, another legend that doesn't get enough respect in my viewpoint um you know it's absolutely, it's absolutely. you can't tell you can't tell me job rule 
didn't have about three, four summers in the Choco. <laughs> Murder Inc. You know, you can't tell me Murder Inc. ain't had Choco on about three, four summers. They did. Come on now. Ja Rule and Shanti. Say what you want. Say what you want. Still got them going. Meaning she's still out here rocking and rolling on the stage with no problem. And she only had a, a handful of albums. So, yeah. Facts. You say what you want. That's why it's very, it's very subjective. Very subjective. But you got you you got to be real. You got to be you, just just be real. Yeah. You know what I mean? I I'm a Wayne fan. I like Wayne. But come on now, you can't tell me Wayne was the top artist for the past twenty four years. Come <laughs> on now. I like Wayne. Wayne. I like Wayne. You get ready to start a four. <laughs> You can't, you can't, you can't dim other artists like like they didn't have these summers on lock. Kanye, come on now, when the college dropout, late registration. Wayne, I just had to say this because I'm still mad at Wayne from a few summers ago. We, me and Jay waited, or Jay and I, sorry, Jay and I waited for three hours in the hot summer of Atlanta. And I said, Jay, he was the headliner. Nobody briefed me about Wayne and the amount of time of his lateness, meaning India, you know, you're going to wait this long. So I was hot, like three hours. And people keep coming on here talking about, oh, he'll be out in a little bit. He's here, but he got to wait for his son. This is big Tigger on the mic. <laughs> uh, don't bring that energy towards me so yeah um as soon as he came on i was walking out i had mm. got to the gate to walk out and i was just like you know what um i had to see wayne another time if i want to um so he puts on a good show but again like we were discussing earlier the lateness and the you know yeah that that is <laughs> that can be a pitfall sometimes when you go to concerts. Cause I went to go see D'Angelo uh when I was in Europe. And uh yeah, I think they I think he was like an hour, like an hour late. Really? Yeah. Still a good show, but he was he was like an hour late. Uh but you know who wasn't late? Oh. Dan Jackson. On time. Not late. And Ludacris open up. I'm telling you, the show was supposed to start at 7.30. At 7.31, stand up. I was like, oh. <laughs> was not planned. Ain't nothing like it. Was not planned. I said, man. And I and I I remember I was uh I came across uh something, I think it was on Facebook or something, and about well, other people who went to go see her show prior to that, and they was like, that show starts on time. You better be on time for that show. And I was like, all right. I was on time. Yeah. And they was on time. Because I'm telling you, at 7.31, Ludacris was out on stage. Yeah. I mean, I think that you have to respect, as an artist, you have to respect the people that are paying this money. Um, and I feel like when you get into the business of that your money's not good enough for me or your opinion... I, I think you should take that into consideration as an artist, meaning that, you know, they are willing to pay their money and come and see me. Uh, respect those people's time. You know, mm. we are customers. But, you know, I get a little tardiness here and there. But, you know, when you get into that two or three hour mark, um, you know, you lose me a little bit. Uh, yeah. As just a person, you definitely lose me because that means that you know, my money's not good enough. So I may want to rethink, you know, going forward if I ever want to spend my money again in that in that way. So yeah. True, true, true. Cause yeah. like a lot of people's upset with more him. 
Another one. Another one. Let me just say this. I love Lauren. But Lauren is in the pot of my people where I don't know if I need to ever see her again. Um, okay, show came out extremely late. I expected that based mm -hmm. on, you know, people saying it online. So I was just like, okay, cool. You know, not a problem. I'm going to sit and wait again in hot Atlanta. And it was cool. But I know for me and my best friend and my daughter, our experience, you know, when we go to these festivals and concerts, the loyal fans, meaning they got to dress like them, they got to talk like them, um, you know, in Lauren's uh, fan base, they got to wear the big hats. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, we're sitting in or we're standing in back of people with these big hats. So yeah. it's just like, you know, you got to take into consideration of other people too when you're going to these festivals and these concerts of space and uh, the area. So it was a good learning lesson, but Lauren, she's in my pot. I don't, I just don't need to see her no more Um, in a concert. Mm. So no disrespect. But yeah, I would rather not. It it just didn't impress me. It didn't. Bees like that. Yeah. <laughs> Bees like that. Yeah. So I'm excited about who we're seeing. And you know the sad thing, I gotta say this too. Ari Lennox had no business on what was it? It was a rapper that they went on tour together recently and you know somebody threw something at her <clears throat> and it's just like you know when these uh console promoters start coming together and they're like okay we need Ari and like I feel like you should know your fan their fan bases in a sense of hit these artists with like artists and it's, mm. um, I feel like we need more of that, like the festivals put with like artists, meaning that's going to be a good lineup. I missed One Music Fest last year, but uh, I'm looking forward to going this year. I, know, I think they're going to, is it Dallas in May, if I'm not mistaken? I know they're going to Texas, but um, yeah. You got to take into consideration of what the fan actually wants. So, or what mm. likes it. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. 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 Never heard about that. Hmm. Again, you know, I, I love people, great concerts. But it needs to be memorable for me. Um, that's why I'll always go back to see the locks, meaning that they're going to put on a good show. Method Man and Red Man, they're going to put on a good show. <clears throat> Mace, he's going to go through his catalog. Mace and Penta? Yeah. Mace, Mace puts on a good show, too. Um, I'm trying to think who else that I've seen. Little Mel. Um, there have been a couple pieces. Salt and Pepper. Salt and Pepper is on a good show, too. Yeah. Yeah, but they came from the, they came from the era where, like, <laughs> entertaining. Yeah, like, it was like, you going to... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was different. Yeah. Maya. Uh, Anne-Marie. Anne-Marie... No, I had a crush on Anne Marie. Jeez, that might that might be a that might be a fight or flight response. Her <laughs> Jill Scott, ooh, Jill. Let me like out Jill Scott. It's over. <laughs> Jill is something else. She's something else. A true legend in her own space. 
Another good show. Another, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jasmine Sullivan, no comparing. No yeah, comparing. Would, yeah. yeah, so um, New Edition, that's another one. Mm -hmm. mm. I new did. They put on a good show. SWV puts on a great show. You're going to be standing up, you know. You're going to be singing. Um, I love that about going to their kind of concerts too. I've seen them a couple of times and they always put on a good show. Them and New Edition. Uh, but you're going to be singing. You're going to be dancing. I will admit I did fall asleep on Jill um, in the concert. I did, me and my friend. Because it was, it was cozy. She's soothing. And it's just like, huh, Jill. <laughs> It's just yeah it's just her voice is just like it's all love and you know so mm -hmm. yep man mm -hmm. but we're gonna have a good time this year I think yeah, I'm about to, let me have to get you out your comfort zone yeah <laughs> I'm about to get you out your comfort zone I'm about to get you out of something else yeah, if you said Lincoln Park or you know Fallout Boys. Fallout I, Boys, I'm telling you, if you ain't, I'm 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 sending you that that album. I know nothing about them. Yo, I've been a fan of Fallout Boys since like two thousand six, seven. Yeah, their first album. I've been a fan since their first album. Oh, really? Yes, Fallout Boys. Fallout Boys, Panic at the Disco, uh, Metallica. I'm a Metallica fan. Yes, damn you. Gotta get out of Delaware. I've got Delaware. Start talking over people. Listen, other music. But yeah. yeah, you you you've heard Panic at the Disco. You, I'm sure you. Had. You've heard their mashups. Like I they. Cause they there's a mashup with Panic at the Disco and Biggie. There's a mashup with uh, Panic at the Disco and uh, uh, the Dougie song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Panic at the Disco, really good. Uh, who else? Um, like I said, Metallica, Fall Out Boy. Um, matter of fact, I just say, like. There's a, a page I follow, and they was talking about. They showed a picture. They posted a picture of Limp Biscuit, and it was like, you know, you listen to Limp Biscuit, and I was like, yo, Limp Biscuit. For them to get Red Man, Method Man, and DMX to feature on a song, this is respect. Yeah, you know, they was all like a kind of like an alternative like rap, like Fred Dirks. You get you gotta be real and it's like it's it's crazy because like it's cross genres always been happening ever since like run dmc and aerosmith walked yeah. this you know what i mean so like it's i can get you out your comfort zone and then yeah you know um i'm heavy in the east <laughs> i know you did. very heavy a little a little dabble in atlanta uh here and there Little uh West music here or Southwest, little here and there. But other than that, you know, I stick heavy with the East. That's what we were taught. So, you know, I can do it. But I'm telling you, man, it's telling you. You throwing that. get rich and trying. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, you get get into some some Scarface. Oh, I know you know about Scarface, but like. Get into that Paul Wall, that Slim Thug, that yeah. Chameleonaire. I mean, Lil Flip. I know there was a, like Big Pokey. Uh, you know what I mean? Those are like it's the Houston rappers. You know what I mean? Like Boosie, Lil Webby. Yeah. You know, we all know Master P and No Limit Soldiers, but like there's some other artists out there. David Banner, he's from Mississippi. Yeah, I like David Banner. Mm -hmm. You know, David Banner. You know, he has some bangers out there. A ball and MJG. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, just gotta get you out. I mean, 
I even started dabbling in the country a little bit more. Yeah, that too. Because the songs that you sent me, they sounded really good. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a cousin that uh, tours with Jimmy Allen. And it's just like, I haven't, uh, I haven't really listened to his music, but I plan to. Um, mm. Yeah. Country music uh, is worth listening to as well. Yeah. Little brother, have I told you about Little Brother? I don't know. I don't know Carolina. Yeah. Fire! I got you. Got to listen to Little Brother. Oh, okay. The rap group duo. Fire. What is this? Country music? No, this is rap. Oh. Little Brother, I'm telling you. I was trying to go. They have a. Uh, they have a picnic. They did it last year. I was trying to go, but I didn't go. Mm -hmm. Little Brother, dope. Really. Dope. Huh. Look up little brother. Listen to something, listen to some of their music. I think we need to go to the Roots uh festival one good time. <laughs> Say less. <laughs> yeah. We need to go to the Roots. Uh of course one music fest is on our list Green all Bill. Yeah. I think we need to do that. Um I I wanna say Angie Martinez had a festival up there in New York City. That huh. she yeah, I think it's a one day or though. Um, mm. Yeah, but uh, yeah, some stuff out here that we got to venture out and, you know, do what we do. I, you know, I love going on a little trip here and there. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah we'll make it happen. Yep. It's always good. I can't believe we talked about music for 45 minutes. <laughs> Don't even look, we haven't even dived into Missy Elliott and uh Timberland and all of those good people. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Check yes. out the other podcasts that are featuring Tweet and different people like that to hear their stories. I think it's awesome. Mm. True, true, true. Yep. All right, man. It's been real. We're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna wrap this one up. But uh, as always, thanks for listening. Uh, please, if you get a chance, please like, comment, share, and all that good stuff. Uh, if you have suggestions, please let us know. Uh, so we can talk about it. We can we can rap about it, and we can get it on. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Uh, travel. To different cities you know my cousin has introduced me to that living uh <laughs> another cousin just told me uh this morning you know some people don't even go to Wilmington and I'm just like you know don't limit yourself like that <laughs> please don't end this lifetime right up the street <laughs> so um yeah uh do your traveling and Live your life to the best of your ability. That's the only thing that I can say. And be happy doing it. Facts. Mm -hmm. Facts. Uh, final thought. Uh, the government is hiding $160,000 right now. And you need to go and get you a medical card and get this fake stimulus. Because for the past eight weeks, it's been the last week that you can get this $180,000 medical card uh, from all these YouTube ads that be coming up and the scam and I just want to tell it. <laughs> I just want to point that out. Come on, people. <laughs> Don't y'all fall for that. Don't you fall <laughs> for that. $6,000 the government's hiding from you. All you got to do is call this number. They want to steal your identity. Or they will trap you into some fake loan. Don't do it. Y'all, please stop doing this in 2024. There's too <laughs> many scammers that are scamming out here right now. Too many. <laughs> like, I, look, I know I ain't got no packages to hold up at some facility and you just waiting on me to verify my address. Get out of here. 
Get out of here. I'm not clicking on no link. I'm not calling. I know it ain't no package. I didn't buy nothing. I know it ain't no package. They can really click too. Yeah. With these text messages out of the blue, hey, we have your package waiting for you. What, like, <laughs> how did you even get my number? I'm telling you, just be careful out here, because especially all you Amazon shoppers, they be buying something from Amazon every day. They're going to get you. They will. <laughs> be careful. Because I know it. I know I ain't got no pack. I'm like, who's some Fred, Frederico at USPS? Like, come on now. And USPS is not emailing me from Frederico. Blocked. Heavy on the block this caller. Right Back. here. Get out of here. I'm not clicking on no link. I'm not calling you. I'm not answering the phone. It's not going to happen. Be visit. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> it's been real. All right. We'll see y'all next time. <laughs>